Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Today, though, we'll talk about the beauty of truth instead, and its use in art and worship. As we've mentioned in past episodes, obeying the Eighth Commandment involves a commitment to authentic truth, and just as false witness can lead to people suffering harm that they wouldn't have suffered without it, so truthfulness and honesty can benefit people in ways they wouldn't have benefited without them. In other words, by refusing to express the truth in our artistic and religious pursuits, we may be hurting people, even if we're not actually intending to deceive them. Created in the image of God, man also expresses the truth of his relationship with God the Creator by the beauty of his artistic works. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2501, first sentence. Art gives us the chance to express truths that are often hard to express or less impactful when expressed in other ways. Because of this, when we create sacred art and music or worship in a way that overtly expresses the truths of the faith, we're letting truth into the world, and perhaps helping people in a way that they wouldn't otherwise be helped. Is it possible that actually refusing or resisting this kind of sacred art or worship might be a sin? Maybe. I once heard it said that a deliberate failure to show God honor, which we could show to him, should be viewed as a sin, but as far as I can tell, that's not an actual doctrine of the church. For the most part, this should be considered a higher calling of truth, to convey the truth more often and to more people, even if they don't enjoy it or don't often hear it. Next time, what does it mean to covet your neighbor's wife? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.